precise, dodges a man in the backfield. He's down the sideline with that speed. Here's C.J. Procise diving for the touchdown. Offense as a whole in the game, how do you think they played? Well, I thought we, you know, certainly did the things necessary for us to win the game, and that is first and foremost control the line of scrimmage. You know, you never want to turn the ball over. You know, we turned the ball over one time and gave them pretty good field position. Uh, but all in all, I thought we played well in terms of, you know, controlling the line of scrimmage, you know, making the plays that we needed to. We really put Deshaun, I thought, in a position where, you know, we could manage the offense without having him, you know, be the guy that needed to make the big plays. We put it on the backs of our offensive line, uh, our veteran receivers, and uh, what is now turning to be a, a deep and talented running back here. C.J. Procise is having an amazing year, another big game for him, and he gets you that first score that was very important at that part in the game. I think, you know, a lot of people will talk about his speed, but, you know, um, what he did on that, that particular run was he set up the blocking so well. For somebody that has not played the position um, but just a few games, he just looks like a veteran in there at times. And, um, and then again, you know, he's able to run away from, you know, most defenders, and, um, you know, that's a, that's a pretty potent uh, punch. I know you wanted to get Brandon Wimbush in early, preferably in the first half. The game didn't allow it. Right. But when he got in, he did some really impressive things. Well, he's got arm talent. He's got uh, physical ability. You know, I thought he did a nice job of, uh, you know, going into the first time and not being overwhelmed. Uh, one thing we do know, he's a very, very gifted athlete. Uh, we saw that on the long throw to uh, Will Fuller. We saw that on the long run for a touchdown. There's a lot there that uh, makes you excited about what he can be. Um, it just takes some time and we'll continue to polish him, but uh, it, was, it was great to get him in and get some work. Good day for your receivers as well, and I want to point out one guy who's having a great year, although he's overshadowed by Will Fuller, and that's Chris Brown. Catching a lot of footballs, uh, making plays, uh, you know, especially yards after the catch, and I think that that's an important thing as well. And he's in there blocking, he's doing the little things right for us. And, you know, he's been, he's been really the leader of that group all summer. And I think, you know, we had to lean on him a little bit yesterday and he came up big for us. And Fronapple scrambles by some time and then will be sacked back at midfield. You, of course, know your fan base is concerned that UMass was able to score, but I want your evaluation of that defensive performance. Well, you know, I think we did some good things at times, you know, and I guess that's really the one thing. Defensively, you know, we got off the field when we needed to in, in certain situations, and, you know, we gave up two big plays that, that you know, obviously you shouldn't give up. But I think it's mostly about uh, settling down and playing the kind of defense necessary. We did that in the second half, and. You know, they got a score late against, you know, some of our young kids uh, that are still learning. We don't like the fact that we gave up a couple of big plays in the first half. I like the way we settled down in the second. Sheldon Day is having a great year, and he had a huge sack for you. It was a big sack at a, at a time where we needed to get them out of field position. And, you know, just Sheldon's been a great leader for us, and uh, he's playing hard each and every snap and, and sets a real, you know, good tone for, you know, our younger defensive line. We've got a lot of young defensive linemen that are easily influenced by our veterans, and I think Sheldon is sending the right message each and every day. We cannot talk about this game without talking about special teams. Good day for your special teams. And let's start with the punt return for touchdown. You know, as you know, it started with uh, a great punt, but Tyler Newsom knocked the ball down inside the five. And we had a great defensive stop to keep it inside the five, which, you know, obviously affected the punt. We did a great job with our holdup team. We held them up, and, and then CJ found his way into the end zone off of a great block by Greer Martini that got him into the end zone. So that touchdown was a result of a great punt and then a great defensive effort and then everybody coming together on that punt return. But you told me down in Culver, you thought you would be able to flip the field this season with Tyler. You certainly did against UMass. I think that punt in itself, flipping the field position, and then you know getting the ball. We're going to get the ball minimum, even if we don't even return the ball. We're going to get the ball inside their you know 40 yard line. Those are huge hidden yardage pieces that your special teams impact, and I think we're doing a great job on our kickoff coverage. I think you know anytime you're keeping teams inside 20 yards in terms of returns, that, that's a pretty good day. 